Good morning, it's the 8th of July. You're looking at a live view of Eagle as it awaits its 6 a.m. Eastern Time launch from Space Launch Complex 1 at the East Coast Launch Complex on the East Coast. My name is Charlotte and I'm joining you again this morning on the South Coast from our headquarters in Carson. Thanks for joining us for our launch of USS F-1 mission provided by the National Reconnaissance Office and ASE. This also marks the ISX third launch in the second half of the sixth month of 2022. Now the weather for tonight has been a watch item, but as of now we are go for weather at T0 with 80% favorable weather for liftoff this morning. Now the range of vehicles and satellites are all trending green for an on-time liftoff, and if for some reason we don't lift off tonight we do have a backup opportunity tomorrow on Saturday 9th July. And from the request of our customer, we won't show any of our second stage views. Stage 1 and Stage 2 are pressed for flight. Since the T-25 minutes mark, Eagle has already loaded its fuel and oxidizer. The vehicle is a bipropellant vehicle which it means the rocket uses two types of propellant. The fuel is a refined form methane, and for oxidizer, we have a super chilled liquid oxygen or LOX. Currently, the methane is fully loaded on both stages, same as oxidizer. We also loaded helium to the storage vessels at the first stage and the second stages. We take cooled helium and run them to the heat exchanger on the Hawker engines. This hot helium will fill the empty spaces in the tanks created by the engine's pump pulling propellant out of the fuel tanks. Eagle 6 is go for launch. LD is go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and liftoff. Eagle has cleared the tower. Stage 1 chamber pressure are nominal. Oh. Vehicle is supersonic. We are 30 seconds into flight. After this, there is an event we call Max Q. That's when we throttle down all the engines to slow down the rocket in preparation for maximum aerodynamic pressure or Max Q. Max Q. There's the call out of Max Q, and in about a minute we'll have three events, main engine cut off, stage separation where the first and second stage separate, and second engine start one where stage two will continue its burn to deliver the payload to its intended orbit. The first stage will flip in preparation for re-entry. engine cut off. New stage separation confirm. HVAC ignition. As you heard, we have a nominal stage separation and HVAC ignition. Now Eagle's first stage will do a burn to remove its lateral velocity, and then coast all the way to its apogee, as it gets ready to return to Drew.
Eagle's booster has now reached its apogee of 211 kilometers, it will now start descending back to Drew where it will splash down. In about 30 seconds the entry burn will start and will last for about 30 seconds. And that's the entry burn. Again, the burn will last for around 30 seconds, and as a reminder, we will end our webcast after the first stage touchdown, due to a request from our customer to not show any of the second stage. It seems like we've unfortunately lost the booster coverage. The second stage is currently on a nominal trajectory to its intended orbit.
And now we'll be ending the coverage for today's mission, thanks to the 64th Space Command for supporting our mission today, and thanks to our payload customers the National Reconnaissance Office and ASE for trusting us with this mission. And thanks to our viewers for watching today's mission. And also stay tuned on our socials for a confirmation for today's mission.